Welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to simplify exponents containing multiple decimals. Let's take a simple, simple example. Let's take an example. 1.2 raised to the power of 2 times 1.3 raised to the power of 2. Let's say we have two decimals and both these decimals are raised to a power. In here, we will break it down into steps. Step number one, for each of these terms, each of these exponents, we will recognize the base terms, we will recognize the exponential terms, and we will also apply the concept and then simplify the problem. So in step number one, for the first term, for the first term, let's write it here, uh, we want to recognize the base term. The base term here is 1.2, and the exponential term is 2. For the second term, for the second term, the base term is 1.3 and the exponential term is 2. In step number 2, we're going to then apply the concept. And what is the concept? The concept is the number of times the base term needs to be repeated is given to us in the exponential term. So we're going to expand the first term based on its exponent, the second term based on its exponents. So therefore, we're going to write down the problem one more time. 1.2 raised to the power of 2 times 1.3 raised to the power of 2. So we've, we will expand the base term two times. 1.2 times 1.2, that is the first term. And in the second term, we're going to be, uh, repeat the base term two times. 1.3 times 1.3. Now we go to simplify the math. We take two numbers at a time. 2, 1.2 times 1.2 is 1.44, like that. And then 1.3 times 1.3 is equal to 1.69, like that. And therefore, therefore we go to take these two numbers we take, we're going to take 1.44 multiplied by 1.69, therefore the answer is going to be equal to 2.4336. Okay? Therefore, when we had this problem, 1.2 raised to the power of 2 times 1.3 raised to the power of 2, we got an answer of this kind, 2.4336. So what did we do here? Let us recap. We had an, uh, an exponent in multiple decimal formats. So therefore, we had a problem 1.2 raised to the power of 2 times 1.3 raised to the power of 2. We broke it down into these different steps. In step number 1, we have identified the base term. We have identified the exponential term for both the terms, for both the first and second term. In the second step, we applied the concept. The number of times the base term needs to be repeated uh, is given to us in the exponential term. Therefore, we applied that concept. We expanded the terms. We simplified the math, and we got the answer. Let's look at another example. Let's say we have an example of this type now. Let's say we have an example with a base term with a negative sign, negative of 1.2 raised to the power of 2 times 1.3 raised to the power of 2. So in this case, we will again identify the base terms in the first step. The base terms for the first term, for the first term, let us, let us write it down here. For the first term, for the first term, uh, the base term is negative 1.2 and the exponential term is 2 and for the second term for the second term the base term is 1.3 and the exponential term is 2 now we are ready to apply the concept the, the number of times the base term needs to be repeated is given to us uh, in the exponential term so we're going to expand the first term Negative 1.2 times negative 1.2 is how we're going to expand the first, uh, the first term, and we're going to expand the second term as 1.3 times 1.3, like that. And therefore, we're going to simplify the math. 
1.2 times 1.2 will be equal to 1.44 negative times negative is a positive so we take this and then multiply to the, these two numbers 1.3 times 1.3 is 1.69 with a positive sign and therefore we're going to then multiply these two numbers 1.44 times 1.69 will be equal to 2.4336 and that is our answer this is where this is where we're going to leave it and this is what this is our answer so negative 1.2 raised to the power of 2 times 1.3 raised to the power of 2 the answer came out as a positive 2.4336 2.4336 okay that is our answer so let, let us take one more example here and then let us try to apply these same concepts let's say this time the negative sign is outside negative of 1.2 raised to the power of 2 and then for the second term we will have the negative sign inside the parenthesis one negative 1.3 the whole thing raised to the power of 2. Let's say we have a problem of this nature. So let us let us uh, break it down into these different steps as we uh, as we have been talking about. For the first term, for the first term, for the first term, the base term is 1.2 and the exponential term is 2. For the first term, the negative sign is outside the parenthesis, therefore the base term will be only 1.2 and for the second term for the second term the base term is negative 1.3 because the negative sign is inside the parenthesis and then that is raised to the power of 2 and therefore the exponential term is 2 now we're going to apply the concept in step number 2 we're going to raise the base term the number of times the exponential term is indicating to us and we're going to expand these two exponents as given. Let us write down the problem one more time. Negative of 1.2 raised to the power of 2 times negative 1.3 negative 1.3 raised to the power of 2 like that. So now uh, the, we'll keep the negative sign outside. We'll repeat the 1.2 two times 1.2 times 1.2 like that and for the second term the base term which is negative 1.3 negative 1.3 will be repeated two times negative 1.3 times negative 1.3 now we simplify the math we simplify the math and then we will get an answer so we keep the negative sign outside we simplify uh, the, these numbers 1.2 times 1.2 is 1.44 that is this part of the um, simplification part and then when we simplify this part of it, negative times negative is a positive. 1.3 times 1.3 is 1.69. And we're going to take all of this and then multiply it out. One negative 1.44 times positive 1.69. Negative times positive is a negative. 1.44 times 1.69 is 2.4336. And that is how we want to write it up and uh, so therefore when we had negative of 1.2 raised to the power of 2 times open parenthesis negative 1.3 raised to the power of 2 the answer came out as negative 2.4336 and this is our answer this is where we want to leave it this is our answer so therefore in this particular example what we have seen is when we have exponents containing multiple decimal numbers this is how we're going to apply the concept this is how we're going to break it down into these different steps and then simplify the math and then, and then be able to arrive at the final answer in my next presentation we shall see how to how to simplify exponents containing mixed fractions